What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel and this is going to be an exciting video. You're not going to want to miss a minute. It's going to include a whole lot of stuff that I'm super excited and fired up about and I'm sure you will be too because it includes a great tool deal and the DeWalt Tough System. I got a lot to say about all of this. You're not going to want to miss it and it's coming right up. There are a lot of different storage systems out there, modular storage systems, and the Wall Tough System's one of my favorite. I will tell you this, if you're trying to keep the job site upbeat, people moving along, I find that adding some good music is a necessity, just is. Gets everybody in a good mood, keeps the job site moving along, and we have DeWalt's Tough System 2.0 radio and charger. This is their Gen 2 radio. The Gen 1 Tough System radio was really awesome. I'd like to see if its predecessor, is that right, predecessor, lives up to that reputation. The good part is, a lot of people ask, does the 2.0 boxes and radio work with 1.0? Well, we're gonna find out. Sure looks like it does though. As you can see, the speaker array delivers 55 watts of sound power. How does it do that? Through four full range speakers, one active subwoofer, and one bass resonator. I really like that they're explicit about that. How there's, it, it's telling you there's a bass resonator and an active subwoofer. If we were to compare this to other offerings, this has six speakers, but five of those speakers are active. One is retroactive. No, it's like one is passive, and that would be the bass resonator. We got indoor-outdoor sound optimization. I don't know exactly what that means other than does it have an equalizer? Possibly. Or maybe it has settings for indoor-outdoor where you could set those as a preset and then swap back and forth. Another nice feature is that the radio is Bluetooth capable and as you can see here it acts as a remote as a remote control pretty cool I like that it says you have the ability to download that app in the the Apple Play Store or the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store whatever just download the app okay product numbers DWSTO8820 another big feature is the IP54 rating is listed on here on the box. It looks as though it's good for some rain and dust. It has FM radio. So some of you that like to listen to AM radio, talk radio, it does not have it built into the 2.0 tough system radio here, but I'm sure you could download, I don't know, an AM app something of that nature, I don't know. It is corded or cordless. It uses USB 2.1A. Is that the standard or is it USB and it charges at 2.1 amps? Maybe. Here's a big, big feature that I really like about Tough System 2.0. This is a job site radio. And on said job site, you're gonna have a lot of different lines of the wall tools. This radio is a radio charger. On that job site, you may have DeWalt's 12 volt max line of tools there. You're probably gonna have the 20 volt max line of tools. And I'm sure you might have some of the flex volt tools on that job site. This radio charger gives you the ability to charge all of those batteries. The entire DeWalt line of tools you can charge with this radio charger. That is an upgrade for 2.0. 1.0, you can charge 12 volt and 20 volt, not flex volt. I'm happy to see that upgrade. Let's talk warranty. So guaranteed tough, three year limited warranty, one year free service, 90 day money back guarantee. Not a lot of fanfare. That is nice. We have our box, it's wide open. We have our instructions. Listen, this is great reading material. 
But quite frankly, I'd rather fumble through this with, with all you. <laughs> so I'm going to hold this aside. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do this together, you and me, without reading this. Instructions. We'll figure it out. Together. I'm going to tell you this. This is, in my opinion, an extremely handsome radio. I like the, the, the minimalist look. I, I like this, okay? It, it just is, is very unassuming, sleek looking. It reminds me of the Batmobile. I guess the, the Batmobile is not an unassuming though. It probably grabs a lot of attention. All right, whatever. You know what I mean. It looks sleek. Let's go over. We have one, two, three, four speakers here. Okay. Then at the bottom, we don't have grills, but we do have what looks to be subwoofers. Okay, one active, one passive. Pretty cool. We have nice rubber feet here. We have a handle, rubberized, the very first gen tough system boxes. They don't even have the reinforced pins, metal pins, but they work. The good part is, is that you're able to stack more boxes onto the radio so you can build your system up. There's only one problem with that. Unlike 1.0, the battery compartment's not accessible. I feel, I feel like I remember 1.0, we don't have 1.0 here today. 1.0 battery bo box we were able to open. Leave it down in the comments section. Do you have 1.0 available to look at? Leave it in the comments. If you stack a box on top of 1.0 radio, can you get into that battery compartment? I feel like you could have. I'll tell you this much. These are reinforced clips. And they hold tight. You'll see right here at the back of the radio, we have the input. If you're gonna power this through wall power, you'll find that adapter right here in the box. So we just plug in our wall adapter and then we could plug this into the wall or you can plug it into an extension cord. Let's just plug in this 12 volt battery. It's down to one bar. I will tell you this much. Kind of fights you there. All right, let's turn it on, see if it will charge. Because. You see it charging somewhere. See it? Here's the deal. You see it? I do see, see it charging now. Oh, look at that, okay. So we have, a, we have a home button here. We have a, a forward and back button. Then we have our DRC, dynamic range control. So we'll go to dynamic range control. We hit one of these buttons on the side. It is touch screen. Now, like you don't touch, like to go to Bluetooth. You don't touch here, you touch here. All right, we're gonna we're gonna sit at the outdoor. It's pretty wide open in here. I literally. So Tough System has no external antenna. It seems. Now here's the deal. Is the reason we're getting staticky at one one hundred eight point zero because we're charging a battery? Let's find out. So it is not. It is not because the battery's charging. So we go to settings, right? Once we're there, we can go to the system. When we're in system, we could set the language. Okay, you have your your your. You could do English, Spanish, French. Can we go, can we go back? Let's, we'll click English. 
Let's go to sound, okay? So we're all set. We have a, a control of bass, treble, mid-range. Pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it where it's set there. I would like to go back one page. Like, I, I would rather go back a single page. Oh, there we go. Somehow we and then back there. Display. Brightness, auto dim, which is disabled. It has the flip or auto. Pretty cool. Let me see. Let me go back. And then we're able to enable Bluetooth. Let's see what's up with Bluetooth real quick. So right here, we have Toff system, underscore five, four, five, ten. We're going to connect. It says we're connected. You can see there Vincent's iPhone is what's connected now. Now here's the deal. We're on the audio library, Music for Creators. We're going to play Welcome to the Future. Everybody said, when we play the copyright free music, everybody's like, what was that song? Welcome. It's Welcome to the Future. Let's see what happens. You'll see it shows up and it scrolls. Look at that. Welcome to the Future. Now, when we first started the song, the volume on my smart device was set down a little bit. I set it all the way up. You see the fluttering in the smartphone? I will say this, the bass is bumping. I mean, literally, sounds really good too. Now here's the deal. I wanna go back to settings and I wanna to go to sound. I will say this much, thoroughly impressed. Let's see, let's just set up the bass and see how it does. Should we start that one over again? Yeah. I will say this. Now I know why there's a shelf here, okay? Because they don't want you to set your smart device on top of the, here, let's close the lid. You ready? <laughs> And that's, that's with a rubber outer box on there. Like it, it, it's still skipping across here. Let's, let's set up some more settings. That thing is moving. I will tell you, I, I thought we were gonna get some distortion as we set up these settings, but 
Let's set up treble and see how it does. Crystal clear. I will say this much. I, I don't know if it's because of the downward firing subs. I feel like the bass is really being transmitted to you. Like I can feel the bass. I could feel it. And you have to understand, like there's boxes here and then the DS carrier. I can feel the bass in the floor. I can feel the bass in the floor through my feet. And that's what you want from bass, in my opinion. For everybody that's wondering, this is Play, D-Clan, D-P. That's the, that's the name of the song. Now here's the deal. I, I feel like it's, it's doing a good job of staying clear through, the, through the, the volume range. I do sense a little distortion, but at the very peak, if we bring it down one notch, it, it steam, seems to be much clearer. And when I say much clearer, there's a small hint of distortion. There's a small hint of distortion at max volume. We back it down one bar, it seems to go away. Very, very loud. Room filling. I will say this, the bass on this, just like Gen 1, the bass on Tough System 2.0 is really awesome. Now, here's a question. We have our battery charging. We had a little hiccup there for a second. Let's, let's see how, and if you look inside the box, you will see that the wall is definitely signifying that this is 3.0. We have an aux port, but no aux cable included with the kit, unless I'm missing it. I'm not seeing it. I will say this much. Are you, are you, I mean, are you, I guess some of you would use the aux port, but if you're going to use a smart device, wouldn't you just use Bluetooth? All right. I, I will assume that this is for not auxiliary. It says Bluetooth slash auxiliary. I, I can't imagine that the music will transfer via cable. Let's see what we get. So we, we, we're, we're charging. Okay, we disconnected from Bluetooth. We're not seeing the ability. Let's, let's go to aux. You'll see the 3.5 millimeter jack or plug shows up. So you do not connect via USB. To connect to auxiliary, just remember that a lot of smart devices nowadays don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack. So you would need an adapter if you wanted to plug to those smart devices. Although we do have a smart device that still has 3.5 millimeter, we should listen to the radio through 3.5 millimeter. like the 3.5 millimeter jack adds a lot of noise 
and I wanted to do a side by side. Let's see if we can make this happen. That's true, Bluetooth. Leave it down in the comment section. Which do you feel creates a clearer sound? I gotta tell you, I'm not certain here. I think the 3.5 millimeter jack does a pretty good job as well. It's a shame they don't include the cord. But finding a smart device that has 3.5 millimeter jack nowadays, eh, maybe not. How does it sound on battery power only? 12 volt. the same amount of bass. So I will say this. I mean, this battery, let's, let's, let's just unplug it here. This 12 volt battery does have two bars of charge. You'll notice when we unplug the wall power from the, the radio charger, the sound, there's a, there's a big decrease. Now, will we get the same decrease if we use 20 volt max batteries? The other question is, can you in fact, can you indeed use the six amp XR batteries. These are wider, they include those 21700 cells. Will they fit in here? Yes, indeed you can use the larger 21700 cells. You'll see that that battery's fully charged. We are connected to Bluetooth. Let's see if it makes a difference. That's on battery power. That's on battery power. Very, so, so that test is very weird. I, 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 you have to let me know what you think. Here's the deal. Very, not much of a difference. I feel like we get a little bit of a bump in volume when we plug the wall power in. I will say this. I don't notice a big decrease when we unplug it. Does that make any sense? It seems like it stays pretty consistent. Let's see if it will indicate it's charging that battery. This thing's already charged, fully charged, this six amp hour. Let's see if there's a difference with the flex volt batteries. You know, I, I will say that. So here's the deal with this. If beings that the 12 volt battery can't power the radio fully. I like that DeWalt just lowered the amount of volume that you can get out of the radio on a 12 volt battery. Still gave you the ability to charge this battery, okay? And be it at a reduced capacity, 
still give you the ability to run this radio charger or radio on this 12 volt battery. I like that. Let's see if there's any difference with the flex volt battery. And then I want to test one other thing on battery power. Okay, clicks in, no problem. The door will close. Let's see. That's wall power. That's flex volt. Guess what? I'm not seeing any difference at all that time. That's wall power. That's flex volt. It just topped it off. So here's the deal. It will charge the flex volt, it will run off the flex volt. Here's a question for everybody. It's on wall power right now. It charges our smart device. We unplugged wall power. It's still charging our smart device. Okay, on battery power. Now, here's a question. I'm gonna plug this back in, because I don't want the radio to go off. I'm gonna plug it back in. We're going to take out our flex volt battery. We're going to put in our 12 volt battery. I got to tell you, I do not particularly like the way these 12 volt batteries go in. The, the 20 volt max battery and the flex volt battery, no problem at all. Okay. Now, we're still charging. Will it charge the smart device on 12 volt? Yes. Okay. So you have the ability to charge even on battery power. So we're able to control our smart device, okay, with the forward and back buttons. That brought us home. Okay, so we're able to, to jump forward. Uh, let's go to, back to Bluetooth. All right, we're able to jump forward, backward. We are set on in outdoor. I wonder what indoor would do. The dynamic range is definitely, I like outdoor. Okay. Now, there's one other feature that's pretty cool. And we could, what we can do is, that means, We can close our smart device in there. And then we can control our smart device from outside the radio. The other nice thing is, as you can see, the screen auto flips or auto rotates to adjust the position. All right, so we went over <laughs> the batteries it will charge, we went over the connectivity, we went over the sound, we went over the screen, we went over set an EQ, we actually showed you a little bit of the difference of the dynamic range for indoor and outdoor. Would you control this via Bluetooth and, and, and the app? Let us know down in the comments section. If you would consider controlling this through an app on your smartphone and carrying your smartphone with you, okay, we want to know about it. What we can do is we'll make a separate video going over the setup and implementation of that app and using it with the DeWalt Tough System 2.0. You know, we want to know down in the comment section, did you score this DeWalt Tough System 2.0 radio for Black Friday discounted? to $199, did you, do, did you buy it? I had no choice. At that price, I was like, I gotta pick this thing up. Unbelievable deal. And I, quite frankly, 
I'm, I'm super excited about the purchase. I really am. What about you? Would you pick this up? Would you pay the full price of $299? Because that's how much it is at release. But somehow, they were running $100 off for Black Friday. It's crazy. Let it, also, we want to know, what do you think of the feature set? Is there something missing from this radio? What do you think about it? Leave it down below in the comment section. If you like the video, you like the interaction, like having a YouTuber that wants your feedback, then consider smashing the like button. Why should you smash the like button? Number one, it helps out the channel immensely. Number two, it's free for you to do. Why wouldn't you smash the like button? With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you hanging out with us while we unboxed the DeWalt Tough System Radio Charger 2.0. I had a good time. Hope you did too. We'll see you on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.